Nick Solich wins his own debut beating Pittsburgh. He can run and throw, throws to the end zone, caught! Game over, game over, game over! For the first time in school history, Ohio football has won a bowl game. Steps back, fires to the left corner of the end zone, Foster out there, he caught it! Touchdown, Ohio! Number 2, September 9, 2005, Eaton Stadium, Ohio 16, Pittsburgh 10 in overtime. It was Game 2 of the Frank Solich era and his Eaton Stadium debut. The Bobcats lost at Northwestern in Week 1. Pitt had 8 wins, lost to Utah in the Fiesta Bowl, and finished 25th in the country in 2004. The Panthers were ranked 25th in the preseason and fell to Notre Dame in their opener. The Bobcat buzz was off the charts. A record crowd of 24,545 packed Peden. Victory Hill was at its capacity, and a national TV audience was introduced to a new era of Ohio football. Unfortunately, the tone setter wasn't a good one. Pitt's Larod Stevens took the opening kickoff back 95 yards, and the Panthers were up 13 seconds into the game, 7-0. Ohio's first score provided a bit of foreshadowing. With 1.52 left in the first quarter, Dion Byram picked off a Tyler Palco pass, and he returned it 38 yards for six. And the game was tied at seven after one. It turned into 10 unanswered points with the second quarter's only score. With 2.32 left, Brooks Rossman capped a 17 play, 76 yard drive that took seven minutes and three seconds. His 21-yard field goal gave Ohio a 10-7 lead it took into halftime. Seven punts over the course of the third and most of the fourth quarters led to Pitt going for it on fourth and one at its own 42 at the five-minute mark. Todd Koenig stopped Rashad Jenkins. The Bobcats had it in plus territory with the chance to take the lead, but Rossman missed the 37-yard field goal wide right with 2.19 left. The Panthers then drove 70 yards 13 plays to the Ohio 10. Josh Cummings tied the game with a 27-yard field goal and it was off to overtime, tied at 10. In OT, the Panthers had the ball first and it took just three plays to decide the game. Ramon Kirkley ran for no gain and six yards. Then on third and four at the Ohio 19 came one of the greatest plays in Ohio football history. Palco, two-step drop, Ohio blitzes, pass intercepted by Ohio. Coming the other way is Dion Byram. One man to beat is Palco. He won't get him, and Byram will take it to the end zone. The Ohio Bobcats celebrate their first win under Frank Solich as the students storm the field at Peden Stadium. Dion Byram got him their first seven points. He got them their last six, and Ohio in overtime defeats Pittsburgh 16 to 10. It was Byram's second pick six of the night, a feat that wouldn't be equaled until Travis Carey turned the same trick in the regular season finale of 2013. It was the first win of 66 and counting in the Frank Solich era, and it will never be forgotten. Ohio 16. Hit 10 in overtime in 2005, number two in the Solich 10 for 10.